Hi guys, it's Liam Life Diecast here with um, a new series, bu bunch of videos. Um, and this is uh, how to make dead trigger guns. For you who don't know what dead trigger is, it's a, um, it's, a it's basically a zombie apocalypse game and it's free for Android and it's amazing. This is my favourite Android game. It's awesome. Um, but quite a lot of the guns um, have um, dot sight scopes on them and there are two different types. So this tutorial will be showing you how to make them on a rail, like a working rail, so you can take them on and off. Um, and also, a new thing I'm doing, if you subscribe to me, um, subscribe to my channel, you put in the uh, a comment in, in any of these videos, um, the, the cardboard tutorial videos, put a comment saying um, what gun you would like me to do. Um, or anything really, just anything like a bake out of cardboard, doesn't matter what it is, any game, I don't care, um, I'll make it, I'll make a tutorial for you, as long as you're a subscriber, so subscribe guys, and like the video, stuff, so yeah, hang on, I'll pause a second, no I don't, um, so yeah, let me show you some stuff, so this is the Dead Trigger homepage, and let me turn the brightness down, so you guys can see, that's the volume, that's brightness, Probably made it worse actually. So that's the one of the dot sites, and then the other ones, and that that's the gun that I'm going to be making first, the Walter P99. Uh, oh, and then there's th that one there. The other types. So let's get straight into the tutorial. Um, first of all, guys, I just thought I'd show you what the scopes. The sorry. The uh, dot sight scopes look like in the gameplay, the two different types. So, yeah, when this is loaded up. Okay, so this is the first one, and then, actually, dot sight, and then this is the second one. Looks a bit different, mainly for pistols. So, yeah. No, you don't. This okay, so is, you want to make sure you have a picture reference. Um, for them both and the first one that we're going to be making is this one so we'll start off with the rail so let me go get my stuff oh and all you'll need for this is a ruler some scissors a pen or a pencil doesn't really matter um and cardboard obviously and some super glue so yeah sorry not super glue pva glue like this Okay, so what we're going to start off with is the rail at the bottom of the gun. Now, as you can see, it dips in in the middle, and then the actual scope goes in, the pushes into the middle bits. Um, so what you want to do is cut out two thick strips, exactly the same length, and then one that's about half the size of it. Um, yeah, so then, right, just do that now. Pause the video, because I'm going to pause it and then do it and stuff. Just, yeah, just... Just ignore me. I'm such an idiot. Yeah, so just do that. Okay, so I've just drawn it out. These two are two centimetres. This one's one. So now cut these out. And then get ready for the next step. Um, also, if you want a more accurate cut, you can use uh, exacto knives. So crafting knives or something. Which I'm actually going to use because the scissors don't give that much of an accurate cut. Okay, so when you've cut all those out. What are we doing? Sorry about that, my dad come in, and he's really embarrassing. Came, sorry, in. Um, yeah, so what you want to do now is, you want to put the one centimetre strip, but just get rid of, well, don't get rid, but put one of the two centimetre strips to the side, and you want to put one of the um, one centimetre strips directly in the middle of one of the um, two centimetre strips. So do that, and then I'll show you the next step. I don't think I said glue it, you have to glue it. You guys might be wondering why I'm making this so long. This is because it's a demonstration rail. It's not for any of the guns. It's just for this demonstration video. So yeah, so that's glued on now. And now what you want to do is put glue on this one centimetre layer. And put it directly in the middle of this. So you're kind of like sandwiching the one centimetre layer. Like that. Okay, so once you've done that, you might want to leave something on top of it just to let it dry, so I'm going to put a book on it for a couple minutes, or three books, 
Okay, so while that's drying, what you're going to do now is you're going to want something to work on for the actual scope. So, just cut a, a rectangle out about the size of the base of the scope. Um, so do that, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so I'd say it's roughly about that size, and this is what you're going to be working on for the scope. Oh, and I forgot to say um, that in this tutorial you're also going to be needing, uh, like, clear, like, plastic for the dot site, and a red mark pen. I forgot about that. Okay, so this should be oh, a little bit dry now. So, yeah, it's like that. Still a little bit wet. Let's leave that somewhere to dry. Okay, so what we're going to work on first is the bottom sliding bit. So, what you want to do is you want to... Oh, my camera just went really weird then. Uh, sorry if the voice has gone out of time now. Um, it's because my camera's fucked up, probably. If it hasn't, then good. So, what you want to do now is you want to cut out one... F um three centimeters hand let me think hand I need to think so yeah right I know so what you want to do is you want to mark two centimeters from like so find the center of it and then mark centimeter out that side and a centimeter out that side so you have a two centimeter length going up and down um or just cut out actually no don't do don't do that yeah so mark the two centimeter from each side or just make it a bit over like 2.2 or 2.1 or something just just to be on the safe side okay so this was actually four centimeters so that was good like exactly so marked out 2.1 2.2 sorry um so now what you want to do is get strips along these bits here make sure they cover up the whole thing these are exactly a centimeter so um no they're not they're <laughs> So I keep on forgetting. They're 0 0.9 millimeters. So, but I'll just do a centimeter anyway. So do a centimeter strip there and a centimeter, and glue them on like that, and leave it to dry. Okay. So then, what you want to do is cut strips that are a centimeter and a half, oh. um, and then glue them on top so they come into the center like that sort of thing. You see when I do it. So one and a half centimeters. You want to cut the strips. Okay. So once you cut, once you've cut the two strips, put them like that, and then cut them to size. Okay. So once you've done that, that's the bottom of your thing sorted, and it should look like that. That bit's a bit weird. It should look like that, and then, and I'm just gonna set the tripod up somewhere a second. There we go. Tripod sorted. So as you can see. That will slide into there. But I'm not going to do that yet because it's not dry. So once that's dry, we'll test it, and that will be the end of part one of how to make the rail for the dot site. Part and then part two will be the medium-sized dot site, and then part three will be the um, the full-sized dot site. Um, so yeah. Um, I just wait for this to dry then and round off the video and show you guys it in action. Okay, so this is it all dry and in action. As you can see, it slides on. You might want to run it through the whole slide just to get it all nice. And I made this side a little bit more thick so that it can go in easily, more easily. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. It's been the rail, and then obviously the scope's going to be on this bit here. So you can take it off, put it on other guns, stuff. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and see you in part two. Oh, and comment, rate, and subscribe for more cardboard tutorials. Yeah! Sorry, I'm weird. You're going to have to get used to me.